Hey folks, this is a next step of a project I'm working on where I'm using React Native to develop a mobile application. In the previous chapter, we created two tabs using Tab Navigator. The first tab lists the cards owned by the user and the second one lists the ones shared with him. In this video, we will see the screen that appears after you click in this button to see the card details. As you see, this page is now listing all the outgoes and it has been added a form to create a new one by entering the quantity and the short description. Now let's have a look at the JavaScript code. As you can see here, I'm using Axios library to consume the API. Axios is a promise-based HTTP client used with JavaScript that handles the logic of the HTTP requests to simplify the development. For this little example, I am, I'm handling the logic inside the build code. Despite this, should be done inside the container and the state, because, because that's how the Flux architectural pattern works. But that will be done in the next steps, so for now, let's forget about code organization as we are focused on calling the API. As you can see here, the get request is called as soon as the component is mounted. So the listing starts its load when the user clicks the button to open the page. Then data, data is returned and stored in the state. After that, the view reacts and builds the table with the outdoors, thanks to this tab row function that maps the array with the table row component located inside components folder. What is even more interesting is the post for code. As you can see here, the dependency tcom for native is used and I'm defining a struct to set the two inputs of the form, a number and a string. The form is rendered like this, specifying the outgo model, which is the struct we have seen, and then the button is linked with this handle submit method. This checks the validation of the form and then performs the post request. Now let's try the post request. Let's open the Android virtual device. First, we can check the validation. If we press the button without having filled the inputs, whoops, they are invalid, so they are using that red color. Let's enter something. For example, 10.0. 50 here and a description like a uh, repair and that's it the new outgo is stored as you can see here in the app and also in postman where it can perform a get request to the same api so that's all for now as you know I will be working on this project in the following months and uploading next steps to this YouTube channel. So stay standard. See you soon. Bye.